G'day, on Stocko's Reefing, I check out the Hanna HI781 Nitrate Checker. We'll do an unboxing and I'll do a test with it and see what it's like. And plus, you can see I'm a big fan of the Hanna Checkers. So let's get to it. So let's check out what's inside the box. Okay, so instruction manual. Your kivets. Nitrate checker. Your battery. Your bottle of reagent A. Eh? Your filters. Reagent C. Reagent B. Your filter holder for your filter paper. So unscrew that. Very tight fit, so put your filter paper in there then you screw back up we'll check that out in here when I do the test your large cuvette and all your syringes Alright, so that's that. So let's do a test. Let's get testing. So unscrew this. Put the put the filter in the bottom. Like so. Make sure it's not overlapping. Then screw the top back on. You won't get confused because they put the top and bottom. They put the top printed on the top so you can see it. Okay, so that's that. Get your big cuvette. Get seven mils of water with your big syringe. I pour it in a big cuvette. Then get your reagent A. Get four mils of that. Make sure you've got your syringe with the tip on it. It's a five mil syringe. Try not to get in the air in, so just soften once, put it back in. So often again, we want to get to the four mil mark. Okay. Put that down there for a minute. We'll close it up. Okay. So then we'll pour that into there. Put the lid on it. And shake for one minute. Okay, so after you're shaking that for a minute, open it back up, get your reagent B, open that up with your scissors, before we do that, 
Make sure everything's in the corner. The contents are poured in there. What I like to do is open up, make sure I get every little bit out. Okay, so then you put the lid back on again. And then shake for another minute. So after you're shaking for one minute, take the lid off. Get your 10 mil syringe and your pin. Screw it in like so. Put it in here and siphon everything out of there. wants to work for me. There we go. Okay, put that down. Disregard the... You don't need that anymore. Get the 10 mil cuvette, the small one now. Turn on your checker. Disconnect this needle You're Not going to need that anymore and screw your filter on Okay Now what we do is we'll slightly drip it into the 10 mil mark So what this filter is doing is picking up all the crap that you don't want in here for the and purifies the water to be clear with no purities in it. This stuff's mainly from the reagent B. They get stuck in the filter. <laughs> Alright. So I don't know if you can see all that dirt in there. That's what we just filled it out. Okay, so that's that. Put the lid on. Rub all the fingerprints off it. Get the checker. I like to put the 10 mil at the front so I know to put it in there to suck all the the same way, the same time. Press that, and then we'll bring up the reagent too. Okay, so we pull it back out again. What I like to do is not touch it. 
don't get any more fingerprints on it. Then what we do, you've got your reagent C. Let's get everything in the corner. Get the scissors, cut it open. Get your reagent C, pour it in. Oops, making a mess here. Pour that in there, and then we'll try and get some of this in there too. Okay, put the lid on. Give it a clean. Then shake for two minutes. So after your two minutes, put in the checker. Hold the button for three seconds and then wait for eight minutes. So while you're waiting, just clean all your, your tools. Do another test in that eight minutes. So the last 30 seconds of the test. So let's see what these results come out as. This is my first time trying this out. So my nitrate must be a bit high for the reading. So what I'm going to have to do is dilute and retest again. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.